This charging location is epic. I'm Mark. I'm Morgan. This, this is Willow. Willow. And, and we, we are Grove, Grove Electric. Electric. Good morning. Good morning. It's always such a sad, sad thing to leave something that you love. And man, did we love this house. <laughs> oh my God. We absolutely loved it. We loved everything about it. Other than the cold weather outside. It was beautiful <laughs> inside. Uh, we absolutely love this vacation, probably. And I've said it too many times now, but literally one of my favorite and best vacation slash road trips. <clears throat> so, yeah, talking of road trip. Yeah, so we <laughs> are starting our day at 98%, and our first charging stop is going to be the Owlick in uh, New Brunswick. Uh, Owlick Supercharger in New Brunswick, <laughs> Canada. Yes, yeah, so we're still being in Canada. Yes. And um, we're going to try to strictly follow the Tesla recommendations. Normally, we just always charge from the percentage we have up to 80%, go, and then stop again. We're gonna see if we follow it, if we can actually get there around the time suggested. It's suggesting 9.30, but it's having us arrive at the hotel, which doesn't have charging, unfortunately, at 9%. So we'll probably be close to the 10 o'clock. We're gonna try to get there at 10 o'clock instead that's, of 2 a.m. That's the goal today, so we'll see. <laughs> Yeah. But we also do have, you know, the border crossing. So, but again, we're going back into our home country. So hopefully there is no issue there. Choose and your worst. we'll see. <laughs> I'm trying to be optimistic here. No. We are back in the car. We did stop here at Allack. Um, we went 293 or 97 kilometers on our home charging from our Airbnb. So thank you again for that, our gracious hosts there. So um, Mark is joining me back in the car now. Willow got out. She met two other dogs here at this stop because there is a bark park as we wave to one of them as they leave as well. So now we um, charge up at all lack. Yeah, to almost 80%, which was not, not where the car wanted us to be, but... <laughs> Willow started making friends, so uh, we just let the car keep charging until Morgan was back and we were finished our conversation. Yeah, so we are heading to Quispinac, I think is how you say it. Ooh, Morgie. Sorry, Morgan. I know. I got him banana milk because we don't have that in America. Quispamsis. Quispamsis. That's At least we're that's how we think it's said. I'm sure <laughs> the Canadians, when they see this, They're will gonna correct They're going to shake their head at us. I but know, just but... correct us. Just write it nicely in the comments, you know. How to say it phonetically, yeah. please. <laughs> so this is banana milk. Cool. Um, excited to try it. But how much sugar is in it? Right? A lot. A lot. Oops. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a sipper. <laughs> But it's milk, so how much can you sip? <laughs> so, yes. Yeah, so, good day so far. The sun is out. It's already 50 degrees. We started this morning at 33 degrees. So, we didn't mention that. So, it was super cold. Mark was worried a bit, but we made it. And now it's very warm, and we are going to move along just fine down the coast. I forgot to mention that our last stop was a charge of $21.47. Yeah, $21.47 in Outlook. Canadian. So. Yes. <laughs> now we're in Quispamsis. That's how I believe it's. So, yes, yeah. and we're gonna be here for about thirty minutes. So we're gonna get out and start walking. Honestly, I'm about ready for lunch, but we're gonna do lunch at the next stop. It's yeah, eleven. It's gonna that, be eleven thirty when we're leaving. The best so stop. Though. But it's gonna be what it's gonna be. So Morgan drank all of her milk, and uh, she really enjoyed it. I drank one sip and didn't drink it again. So as much as I love banana, I do not like anything that tastes like artificial banana. So I don't like banana Laffy Taffies. I typically don't like banana candies. And that's what this tastes like, sadly. So this is a no-go. Um, we just finished charging up at... This pamsis. This pamsis. And um, that charge was... 1957. Out to Maine. So we are going to be crossing the border at some point in the next three hours. Yeah. I feel bad for Mark. He's gotten the long drives today. My drive just previously was only an hour and a half, and he's had two, three hour stints. It's okay. I'm the one that really loves the driving. And yeah, I just finally feel like... got it. <laughs> She's my reliever. Um, we finally got a chance to try the second cup. Which is ironic because it is my second cup of coffee today. So It probably won't be your last either. No, definitely but... not. But um, I got a matcha because I like matcha. This is quite interesting though. It has a lavender foam on it and um, it's it's very earthy and uh, flowery. It's it's quite interesting. It's not your 
sugary foo-foo from Starbucks. So I'm actually really enjoying it. It's just a little bit different flavor that I have to get used to. How's your coffee, babe? I just got my normal go-to caramel latte. Iced, of course. Iced all year round. That's how I roll. So, yes, I got my normal and I feel so much better because I had a vanilla in the morning and that's just not my preferred flavor. We have made it to Brewer, Brewer Maine. We're back here again. We did stop here on our way up to Nova Scotia um, and at this point our charge is at 79%. We are enough to continue trip. Just hit over to 80, so now we're at 24.44 for our charge up oh, 24.46 now. I always love to change those few cents at the end of the charge there. So anyway, we started this morning, as I said, at 33 degrees outside. It is currently, well it was, 82 degrees. Yes. Now it's 79, but 82. That's almost a 50 degree temperature change. So as you can hear, Willow is oh, she's, hot. She's hammocked and out. now she is laying right in front of the air vent that's blowing on her from right here. It's so cute. But yeah, I feel really bad for her because we've been having very low temperatures this week and now it's in the 80s and it's hot. So yeah, we are not dressed for 80s, we're dressed for 33. So True. But well, and she we're was wearing used to 30 shirts 30. and not long sleeves. Mark was like, oh, let's wear long sleeves today. I said, heck no. No, so, yeah. <laughs> And the other thing is we are keeping track with the timing and uh, now since we were actually in the Atlantic time zone when we were in Nova Scotia, now we're back in normal uh, East, Coast East Coast time. East Coast time, Eastern Standard Time. Yeah, EST. Yeah. So now we're shooting to arrive at the hotel by I think 9.30. Yeah. Yeah, so 9.30 instead of 10.30, which is even better, better. than... So we can really we have thought. an early start tomorrow as well. So that's the goal. Okay, so I must apologize to the Border Patrol because crossing the border was actually very easy. And it wasn't... I think maybe it's just because when you go over to Niagara Falls, it's such a touristy thing and there's so many people and so much traffic that I'm sure the guys get annoyed asking, oh, what were you doing in Canada? I'm well, going to Niagara Falls, da, 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 da. So, yeah, it was great. They were, the, uh, the agent there was awesome. And as and much- To my oh. surprise too, on a Saturday, there was no wait. We were the only car or vehicle around. So well, I was really shocked. Well, believe it or not, we actually were the first car and then there were about three behind us that oh, pulled in while we were see that. there. But yeah, so we did make it through uh, with ease. It was great. And even though it is warmer here and I definitely prefer the warmer weather, I sort of already miss Canada. It was uh, like, I don't know. It was just so nice. But, you know, every time you always got to return home. So that's what we're in the process of doing. We are here in Kennebunk, Maine, and this charging location is epic. To start off, we have level three DC fast chargers for your CCS cars. And there's one, two, three, four units there. There's also a level two J1772 charger over here. And as you can see, the awesome signage, electric vehicle charging only. And there's honestly no reason for anyone else to park here. These spots are the furthest spots back and it is the best setup that I have seen yet. And on top of it, we have eight Tesla superchargers, 150 kilowatts. This is a perfect spot, guys. This is what it should look like. Eight spots is good. I'd take 16, but of course. <laughs> you know, this is this is what it should be. This, and on convenient. top of it, Willow loves it too because even here there's a dog walk area. So behind the Tesla and the um, charging blocks, come on, Will. There are there's this nice little patch with benches and tables that you can take your pup out and walk them and stuff. So. But it doesn't beat the bark park. <laughs> the bark park is awesome. If you see this, if you're a Wawa or a pilot, make a bark park. Call it something else if you can't use that term. Call it the Paw Area, Paw Patrol, something. <laughs> but uh, you probably can't use Paw Patrol. But anyway, this is great. I'm so thrilled that we were able to come here. We weren't, we didn't come here on the way out because the car rerouted us to Seiko. And this was well worth visiting. Absolutely love this charging location. Car's charging up. We got like four hours left. We're right on time. Like we are dead on 
for arriving around 9.30 p.m. So that's a lot better than 2 a.m. Charging Kenny Bug was $18.14. And and when we're showing you the chargers outside there, it was really awesome. There was no one parked. And then as soon as we cut the clip, an ice vehicle pulled in, meaning a gas vehicle pulled in. <laughs> like there were spots right over there with a trash can, like they were cleaning out their car, but they could have parked over there. But yet I feel like people are now just doing it because they can. And it's frustrating. But hey. At least it's a free no country, one right? needed to charge. Like <laughs> yes, there are definitely. still charging spots yeah, available. Yeah, there was seven other charging spots, and then another Tesla pulled in, so then there was six. But there's still six, you know. But, so. But guys, the signs uh, say for electric vehicle charging only. Only. It's not even like. It's not a those, parking spot. Yeah, but there are parking Tesla charger spots that do say for 30 minutes, for 20 minutes, whatever you want. But they do. I hate just, them, but they do. And it's usually at places that don't have a lot of parking, mm -hmm. which there I can understand it. Here, no excuse. We tried showing you guys yesterday how dirty the car is. Well, here it is in the daylight. Very, very dirty. And then even the front, it is covered, caked with bugs. Disgusting. My least favorite thing about any vehicle, the bug splatter. So yeah, we're gonna go wash her up now. So Trinity now doesn't look like we neglect her and leave her, um, you know, in a mud bath. Uh, she actually looks like presentable. Uh, presentable <laughs> yes. But I just want to touch upon, this was actually a really nice car wash. It also had a dryer, but it wasn't the strongest dryer, but we were able to wash the whole car. It did time us out, but for 13 bucks, we were able to wash the entire car and it, like I said, it looks presentable now. Now I know someone will see this and comment and be like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe you wash your car that way. You should never wash your car like that. Only hand wash your car. That's the only way to do it. Well, one, I don't have the patience for it. And also, where would we do it on the road? There's that. Mm -hmm. But I will say, there's two things I don't ever do with this car. I never take it into the no touch car wash. The soaps that are used in no-touch car washes are extremely abrasive and have been known to cause damage. And I also don't take it through self-rolling car washes. Even though there is an option in car wash mode to put the car in neutral to do it, they have been known to rip the um, hubcaps off the Model mm -hmm. Ys and Model 3s if they're not seated in the tracks properly. If they're just a little bit off, they can uh, pull those off. So I don't take it through either of those two car washes. What I would recommend is find yourself a really good soft touch car wash or do like we just did. Or if you have the time and you are patient enough, hand wash your car. Have fun. Yeah, enjoy it. <laughs> Not my cup of tea. So really glad that uh, we just did that and now I can see through the windshield and yeah. the car doesn't look like it's been in a bug infested um, mosquito Amazon. trap. <laughs> Wow. 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 We just had an amazing dinner. Okay, well, first off, Where we're in we? Sturbridge, Massachusetts. <laughs> and really, we weren't even supposed to come here. We were supposed to go to Charlton, but the car was like, you hey, can go you can go further. Why don't you go? And man, am I glad we did wow. because all those wows were for what dinner we just had. The restaurant is called Teddy G's and it's literally like a beeline from the charging station, which in fact has 12 250 kilowatt chargers. So it's an absolutely perfect spot. Uh, at first we thought it wasn't gonna be that great because we we're like, oh, it's just in a parking lot with a Shaw's. But man, Teddy G's, you just won us over. Our hearts, our bellies, Maybe even Everything. some of our minds, yeah. <laughs> uh, it was absolutely incredible. But it wanted us to charge up to, for like 10 minutes, which was only going to give us uh, nine, enough range to get to the hotel at around like... Nine. Nine percent. Nine. Well, yeah, it was nine mm -hmm. percent, and then it went up to like 20 percent. But no, because we're going to be parked there overnight and we're not going to have any charging available to us, 
I wanted to charge a 54 or to around 50%. So it would sit around 50% all night. So we did wind up charging to 80. So that has delayed us a little bit because obviously it was a longer charge than the car originally expected. But Our new... we're still arriving at 10 p.m. Yes. Yeah, so instead of 9.30, 10 p.m. With the time change, you know, it's okay, right? We can just forget about that little part. Well, we we had <laughs> talked about that already. I know, but no, I'm saying because if with the time change, we would have ar arrived at 11 if we were looking at Nova Scotia time right now. Oh, right, yes. right. So it's an hour later, but who's really counting? Yeah. <laughs> but we also, remember, just had that car wash. We got our dinner, and then we came in charge, so... Yep. Lots of stuff going on to get here. And tonight. that charge costs us $23.33. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to go to the hotel and we'll let you know when we get there. We are at the hotel. It is 9.57. So right on time with the time that was set forward for us. Other than our little bit longer dinner break. But that's because we needed to arrive at the hotel at around half percent. And we arrived at 54%. So today was very successful and also very educational we have now learned that one the car is quite smart and two it doesn't pay to stay so <laughs> there's no reason to charge 80 percent if you don't need 80 percent to get to the next charger or to your destination as just the, the car does give you just enough buffer that we're comfortable with it's usually between um, usually like 10 to 20%. We're more comfortable with the 15 to 20%, but that's what it was doing for us all day today without us choosing a special setting or doing anything different than normal. Yeah, definitely make sure you give yourself a buffer. Like we were talking about earlier, it was going to have us arrive here at 9%, but it didn't know that there was no charging available here. So now that it, we were able to set it and we arrived here at 54, but yeah, 10 to 20 10 to 15 percent 10 to 20 percent is a great buffer and you'll have no issues um anything lower than that and it could become hairy if the weather changes or there's an accident yeah so yeah um we'll see you in the morning we're going to get some sleep it is the final trek home uh, we're sitting at 54 percent and we're gonna go hit up a charger in connecticut probably charge up to 80 percent because we don't want to have to charge at home because we have a couple errands to run. Looking forward to uh, getting home finally. And Willie had a good night. No accidents. Her belly is back to normal, I think. So we're very happy that we didn't have to wake up to a disaster. Everyone had a great vacation. Wonderful vacation. We just got charged up here in Darien, Connecticut, on right on 95 at a welcome center. And um, this charge was like 16 bucks yeah 16 it was like 16 34. something yeah. uh anyway so for the first time ever there was two charging stalls out it said 1a was out and so i didn't pull into 1a and i actually pulled into 3d and literally and this is why the math is a little funky yeah we charged for like two minutes and then it said please disconnect charger there is an issue with this charger I was like, there was okay. no message that there was an issue with this charger. Yep. So we disconnected and I moved mm -hmm. over a stall. But mm -hmm. 250, charged up to 80%. I'm hoping we won't have to hit another charger and we can just finish this out. But uh, we'll long. see. Well, we are pulling into our development now. And we really hope that you guys had a fun trip traveling around with us throughout Nova Scotia and Canada. Um, we have arrived home at 26%, so we do still have a lot of events occurring this afternoon, so we may need to charge here and there, but we'll make it work. We're going to plug in at home, and uh, you know, we'll get a little bit of range there. Hopefully. But, yeah, we didn't need another supercharger stop, so 80% from Darien, Connecticut, home to 26%, so it actually worked perfect. Be sure to leave us a comment, like the video, subscribe, and uh, hit the bell, bell so you're notified of our most recent 